Hey gang, Gary here, and I wanted to share a new tool I found with you. Uh, first off, though, I want to say that this video is completely unscripted and likely to have some pretty rough edges, but I will do my best to give you a not-too-lengthy look at it, and maybe you'll want to check it out for yourself. So the tool is called Rank Reckon, and the major purpose of Rank Reckon is for competition analysis and choosing keywords and niches. And I have to say that... Um, it is one of the nicest tools that, that I've ever seen. Um, it, a lot of different tools have their place, and and uh, but this one has rapidly become one of my favorite. So, so first I want to do just a quick overview of keywords, and I won't belabor it too long because I assume most of you kind of know the basics. Um, but in choosing a niche and keywords, there's four criteria that that in my opinion that any keyword in any niche uh, any keyword has to to meet and the first is relevancy is that phrase relevant to your topic or product so uh, obviously uh, a keyword about skydiving is not going to be relevant to a niche about um, training dogs then the second thing that we have to look at and this is a little more difficult is the intent what is the intent of the searcher are they looking to buy, or are they just looking for information, or maybe just entertainment? And whatever your needs are for for uh, developing this market, that intent must meet your needs. Uh, the third one, which is a lot easier to understand, is search volume. Are there simply are there enough people searching for those phrases to be worth your going after? Um, some phrases, if you're selling a dollar fifty widget, you need thousands of search searchers. However, if you're selling Learjets, probably 10 a month is going to work for you. Uh, the last one, which is what this video is about more, is competition. Who, Who is already ranking on page one, and how difficult will it be to gain a page one position, and uh, hopefully in that top five, or even, even the number one position. And I, personally, I think that competition is one of the hardest to understand or hardest to analyze for most people starting out. So that's what we're going to look at now, is how to analyze competition. So uh, I'm going to close out this window. And first, let's just take a look at a couple of the tools that uh, are kind of standards. You know, the first... Oops. Don't save. Okay, the first tool that we all should be familiar with is Market Samurai. So I'm going to open it up here. And I still love Market Samurai. Um... In in um, my favorite module, in fact, in Market Samurai is is the competition module, where you can just take a keyword and tell it to generate results, and it will pull up a quick chart showing you showing you uh, coded in in green, red, or yellow uh, the different factors that they consider important for ranking your website, and once you kind of learn about it, you can go through here and, and really make quick assessments of whether you want uh, to go for that website, uh, go for that keyword or not. Um, however, all of this data still has to be dug into deeper. You know, what does it mean? What kinds of backlinks are they? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. In, in, in this little demonstration here, I'm going to focus on the keywords pho photography travel tours and a website called photographytravelTours.com. It is uh, people I've been working with for a little while, and and uh, they have a, a tour business for photographers. So um, we're just going to take a look at it. So this is what comes up for the competition in Market Samurai, and and um, you can see it's pretty good quick s snapshot. Now another tool that that is really common is let me see which where I have this it's um, here I believe it's open site Explorer and and um, I'm going to show you the free version it, it can give you a lot more a little more detailed uh, look at the, at the competition at, at how their backlinks are made at, at what their keyword uh, percentages are, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, let me let me just pick out my phrases here, though.
So if I come back here, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this uh, photography travel tours. Hopefully they haven't logged me out. I can do a search. Okay, and the search comes up, and it's gonna show us uh, the backlinks. It's gonna say the domain authority, the page authority, how many domains. Uh, root domains are linking to it, the total number of links, but it's not going to show us. This is the free version now. I'm not showing you the $100 a month version. I'm showing you the free version. Uh, you can, If you want to pay $100 a month, you can get a lot more information out of this, and it's very good information. Um, if we come here to Anchor Text, and it's going to show us, okay, how many domains? It's going to show us the number of links containing that that text, and and um, but the free version will give us one, two, three, four, five. Well, it breaks it down more. And then we can compare link metrics, and you can you can add other websites here to compare to. Uh, so again, it's a lot of great data if you're wanting to reverse engineer your competitor's sites. But now I want to compare both this. Let's get back here to Anchor Text. Both this data here and the the um, Market Samurai data here. I want to take a look at Rank Reckon. So here's here is. We're inside the rank reckon here. And if I enter in a website that I want to check out, it can be my own website or it can be a competitor's website. So I'm going to paste that address in here and I'm going to use that keyword term that we've been talking about. And I'm going to say, okay, let's have a look at this. And what it's going to do here is generate a report. Now it, it can take it, you know, a minute or so to generate a report on, on a really big website. It can take a little longer. So I'm just going to pause this uh, video until the report is ready. Okay. Okay. Now my guess is that that took less than 30 seconds. So what we're going to do now is look at it. Okay, they, they do a uh, rating here of the, of the uh, keyword, uh, target keyword and how difficult they think it's going to be for you to rank. It is also showing our current rank on Google. Now, I want to say that yesterday, uh, for quite a while until, yet, until this morning, we were actually at number one. So I was a little surprised when I started to do this video and saw we were at number two. I had seen the number one rising through the ranks, so we're going to have to get in and address that. But if I look here and look at the percentages here, it's it's saying um, just a quick look here at the keyword density. It's saying that the exact keyword that photography travel tour I've got 18, a uh, little over 18 uh, percent. It breaks down target keyword and other phrases. Partial, you know, like travel tours. Brand, which is photography travel tours .com. Uh, the URL. So these two in this case are, are kind of the same and then other keywords and then it goes on to show us uh, the breakdown here uh, by how many referring domains, uh, the Alexis rank, how many IP addresses we're coming from, how many Facebook likes are pointing to that page, how many Twitter tweets, LinkedIn shares. And then it goes down at the bottom and it does the exact same breakdown of the top 10 competitors. Well, that's all, that's all cool, but this is all just, uh, it's, again, it's just kind of data that boggles you a little bit. Let's, let's click this button right here where it says details. Okay, and then it begins to break it down a little more. So it shows us, shows us the exact target keyword, got 18%, uh, partial target keywords. It's going to give us a nice little chart there and show us. And it's going to break down the, the, the anchor text of all of our um, links that are showing back and show us uh, what percentage we have of those, each of those anchor texts. So you can look in here, like here's another one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. The photography vacations might be a good one for us to go after. And we can definitely step that up. Um, 
and I'm going to look at another one here, but this just breaks down the anchor text of things that are leaning back, uh, leading back to us and showing us what percentage we have of them. Now, I'm going to go back to the competition analysis, and I'm going to open that page up again. I'm going to take a look at one of the competitors. Now, here it's going to give me the same. This is the people that took over. It's National Geographic. They've taken over the number one spot. And it's going to give me the same breakdown of their page. So it's a, a really quick, easy way to start reverse engineering what they've got going of all their keywords and stuff. However, look at this. If I go compare this to my site, then it starts putting them side by side. Okay, I can see where they are, number one and number two site. What, what percentage? Now, for my exact keyword, they have 0% anchor text for that. So I'm going to ask, well, why are they ranking above me if they don't really have that uh, keyword anywhere? Here they have partial matches, brands, etc., etc. So if I look down here and I look through the whole thing, what I do notice is that they've taken a sudden leap in Facebook likes. I lo actually looked at these guys the other day and they, they oops, <laughs> excuse me, they had almost no Facebook likes but, but here we're coming in today and they've got they've got well over a thousand likes compared to our 111. That is the biggest change in the metrics I see in all of this is that they suddenly have a whole bunch of Facebook likes. Um, they have fewer shares on on LinkedIn and, and a few more Twitter tweets and, and uh, I can't quite get it on this page. Maybe I can get it up there. Yeah, and you can see on Google, they have some uh, Google Plus Ones there. So um, in today's in, in today's backlinking, we need to have we need to have this this uh, social media. And this to me, when I first look at it, it's obvious that this sudden rise in the Facebook likes is why they beat us out today. Um, but let's go. Let's go back one more time, and what was I wanting to do here? Okay, I'm going to pause this a second and get some information. Okay, okay. So if we take, um, thank you, thank you for that. If we take another look at this, you know, and we look at the total backlinks in our site. Uh, beats the pants off them. You know, that, that site on National Geographic only has 241 backlinks, and we have, we have uh, almost three, or a little over 3,500. We have more referring domains, etc., uh, uh, etc., et but what, what we're dealing with here that's not showing in here, and this is where you need to do a little more research, is this is National Geographic. That is a huge website with thousands and thousands of pages. Um, uh, you can look at their Alexa rank, how it, how how much better it is than ours. So so it's not hard to understand how they have all that extra power and juice juice. But the major change that I see over the last few days that allowed them to rise to the number one is simply these these tweets and these Facebook likes. Now that's that's. Um, exciting to me and that's good information to know because I know exactly where I need to put my efforts. Now another thing that I also notice here is that my percentage of the exact keyword is a little high. I don't think that's hurting me in this case because we've got an old enough site here but I, I want to emphasize in getting a little more diversity to all this. So let's take a look here at another feature in the Rank Reckon. Reckon. I'm going to copy my URL, and they have this thing called Reverse Rank Checker. Now, in our case, when I type in uh, photography travel tours, and I say, let's check it, what this does, it goes through and looks for other keywords that this site is ranking for and on in, in the top 20. So, so in our case, with this site, it's not going to give us a big return back. It's going to show us that we have four keywords ranking in the um, ranking in the top 20, and I can immediately see you know I've got three of them that are on page one. So that's good information to know. Um, however, if I take 
that National Geographic website, let me just copy the URL, and come back here, and I paste it in. Okay, it gives me, and that's real time that you just saw there, it's going to give me a much larger view of the keywords that they're ranking for. And let's just say that, that I look at one that's super relevant to what we're doing, so photography workshops right there. Um, and they're ranked number one here. Well, if I want to look at that, I can type, I can just click this button right here, this competition button. And what it's going to do is take us right back to the beginning. It's going to create another report on that. Now I'm going to pause this because it, it takes it just a little while to create that report. So pause. Okay. Okay. Well, that took less than a minute. So right here, I just took uh, took from that reverse rank checker. I said, let's take a deeper look at that page uh, and ranking for that that keyword so so I'm gonna say view and it's gonna pull up the same kind of report now it's gonna say it says here it's red it says this is gonna be a hard hard uh, keyword to rank for but it pulls up the same information on all the top competitors notice that National Geographic is in is in uh, both one and two for that um, and we can just go down and start to break down exactly what's going on any of these we can begin to compare details of. So I'm just going to, for example, take this. And it breaks down that particular site. But I can say compare. And it's going to lay it side by side with the site I'm interested in. And it starts to break it down and compare all those details for me. Now to me, this is pretty slick, the way it, the way it presents this information. Um, you know, when we look at Market Samurai and we have all this, it's, it is great information, but it, it's more work. It just takes a lot more to dig into. Or if we go to, to, uh, where am I, what am I looking for? Here we go. Moz used to be SE Moz, SEO Moz, and it breaks down there. It's still great information. Uh, it just requires a little more work to dig into. You know, I like things that at least for these initial anal analysis are just just give me what I want right away and and this this uh, little tool here this rank reckon is pretty darn slick um, one last part I hadn't showed you which is not really a tool they just in the in the very first page they have a, a nice little intro video and then they have a breakdown of just the the uh, uh, what they consider successful backlinking is, and what and what you need to look at all the different factors of of um, social media, of C referring C blocks, referring to different pages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, the diversity of them, relevancy. So this this little chart here is a I'll, maybe I'll put it in this post, uh, but. It's a cool, it's a cool little SEO lesson right there in itself. So uh, I encourage you to check this out. The the software now, I've I've got a deal before it's released to the public. The software now is sixty, a one-time payment of sixty-seven dollars. Once they open it up to the public, it's going to be ninety-seven dollars, and that is a one-time payment for for access here. Now the reverse rank checker is an add-on. It's not part of that sixty-seven dollars. It is currently um, a subscription of nine dollars or maybe ten dollars a month to get that. Um, you know, you can determine whether it's worth it to you. To me, that that ten dollars I'd spend on lattes pretty quick. So it's worth it to me to have this quick tool that gives me such a such a great view of competition and looking at what I'm going to have to do in designing my backlinking campaigns. Um, I had another page here I wanted to show you. Where is it? Not this one. Let me close that. I'm going to pause while I find it. Okay, here it is. Uh, I just wanted to encourage you to go ahead and, and just check out their sales page. 
Uh, one of the things that you can feel good about, they have a nice video kind of explaining it. You can see that it's $67. And, you know, it, it always makes a difference to me. Do they offer a, a uh, guarantee? You know, if it's not, if you check it out and it's not right for you, um, can you get your money back? And in this case, yes, they, they have 100% guarantee for 30 days. This software is put out by Matt Callen. He is a stand-up guy, and uh, I, I can absolutely guarantee that should you wind up not thinking this is a really useful tool for you, you have absolutely no hassles getting a refund. So I encourage you to check it out. Um, I think that it is going to take take one of the top places in, in my quick research in, in uh, figuring out the competition. So that's it, and post your questions below. Thank you. Bye.